So sometimes bad things happen to good people. We've got an employee who got booted out of his family house with him, his wife, and their cat. And that happened right about Christmas time, so he had no place to live. So we invited him in over to live in employee housing. Now, a lot of times when people hear employee housing, it leaves a bad impression on them because they think historically back to the company towns and the mining towns where the companies just took advantage of the employees and kept them in debt. It's not the case here. Here, employee housing is free. So this employee has lived in employee housing for about 10 months now. And in that time, he's managed to purchase a house. It's a mobile home, but it's his now. He's got it set up on a lot. And while he's still living in employee housing because he's working on getting the mobile home connected and everything, in 10 months, that's pretty big strides from being homeless to actually owning a home. So we're at about the 10 month mark and we did let him know that he could live there for one year. So time is running out. Well, he comes down at the end of a day on Tuesday. Now the work day ends at five and he wanders into the office at about 6.30. I'm in the office kitchen fixing some food and he says, hey, do you have a second to talk? I said, sure, I have a second to talk. So sat down, started listening to what he had to say. And of course, as he's talking, there's other employees walking through and things like that. But he says, you know, I really want to do better at work. I want to do better in life. I want to get better at money management. I want to go to the gym. I want to lose weight. He's saying all these things and I'm listening. Now, as he's talking, the supervisor over inspections comes in. Here's the conversation. I didn't say a word. The supervisor just pulls up a chair, sits down, joins the conversation. Couple minutes go by, the supervisor over repairs walks in. He hears the conversation and of his own accord sits down and they're talking. At this point, I'm still answering questions, talking to the employee. It's a four person conversation. Then one of the owners walks in. There are four people that own this company. I'm one of them. So one of the other owners walks in and he hears what's being said and he reaches in the fridge, pulls out a beer and decides to listen and chime in. And then another owner wanders in. By the time this conversation was halfway through, I wasn't even having to say anything. I just kind of leaned back in my chair towards the back of the room and just kind of admired the system that I had built and that now that everybody understands the system and is a part of it, they were all chiming in to help this employee. The supervisors were explaining, well, if you want to get in better shape, the company will pay for you to go to the gym. If you want to lose weight, the company will pay for doctor assisted weight loss. If you are looking for a college education, the company will pay to send you to college. You're not the first person that we have done that for. If you're interested in moving up in the company, we can set you up with some of the senior employees and get you trained up. And as that came up, one of the well inspectors happened to be walking by and was like, oh yeah, man, anytime you have a question, just let me know. And if you're free and you're on the clock, you can come out with me to a job. At this point, I'm very happy. I'm just listening to this thing happen. This employee came in, said he wanted to improve himself and everybody just chimed in all of a sudden. There was no prompting for me. There was no like, hey, why don't you sit down and help solve this problem? Nope, they did it all on their own. It was really awesome to me to see that amount of culture come together to help this employee. So at the end of the day, your company should be a resource to you because your company shouldn't just be a paycheck. It should be a community that you're a part of. The trick to that is getting people that want to build a community at their company and getting a company that wants to have a community that supports its employees. Jump in the comments and let me know if this is the type of culture you have at your company or not.